M0FXB, yes, we've released new firmware for the FTX one. This one does say USA. I'll look into the UK. So I'll provide the links and the video that I made installing the previous version. And later on, when I get home from work, I will um, I will load this firmware. But it says improved C4FM reception characteristics. Fixed an issue where it's not possible to stop message transmission by keying during the interval when repeatedly sending CW messages. Fixed an issue where the scope display would invert upper or lower when transmitting on VHF. Fixed an issue where the CW indicator would stop illuminated. Improved operational stability in C4FM and APRS. Optimize the antenna tuning operation. SPA1 minor fixes to operation settings, other minor fixes. After completing the firmware, you must reset the radio and so on. So I'll put all the instructions and everything and I'm looking forward to adding this. So it's not really got what I was looking for. I'm waiting for, for it so I can press and hold the X button on top where it says GMX and go and get my hotspot going. So I will test that though. Maybe it is working. And they haven't added the PD, PD is it the PDN software where you can use your computer to load the you know, to log into the Wisex system, that will be good. That's the main two things that I'm waiting for, really. But otherwise, it's fantastic radio. Uh, it's quite overwhelming how much this radio does. Uh, so thanks for watching. And remember that if there's a file in the software that has the words SPA in it and you haven't got the SPA, then it's not going to uh, it's not going to load that file until you've connected the SPA. Bye for now. Seven three all the.